what we have found is that economic freedom and free enterprise, they are the driving force behind the creation of entrepreneurial opportunities, job creation, and human flourishing. Unleashing entrepreneurship, unleashing people's creativity in a system that respects them, dignifies them, and allows them to use their talents appropriately. That's what pulls all of us up out of poverty. And our data suggests that those ideas are typically true. So for example, if you're looking at per capita income, average income, you make nine times more in the most economically free countries than in the least. Nine times more. You experience three and a half times more economic growth in the most economically free countries than in the least economically free. Now, people might be sitting there going, oh great, you're an economist, all you care about are rich people. Because see, you talked about income being higher and economic growth being there. We knew you didn't have a heart, jerk economist. No, no, I, there, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of jerk economists out there. Hmm. But if we think about economists qua economists, as economists, what was it that Adam Smith was looking into? He was looking into the causes into the wealth of nations. He wanted to know why some nations were rich, more importantly, why some nations were poor. How do you alleviate poverty? As an economist, what I care about is how do we create coordination to alleviate poverty, to improve the standard of living for all people. So if we look at it from that perspective, the income of the poorest 10% is 10 times greater in those places with the most economic freedom than those places with the least. 10 times greater. If I were in the lowest 10%, I would want to live here. I think you would too. Absolute poverty, this is living on a buck 25 a day. Only 2.7% of the people in the most economically free countries live in absolute poverty. But compare that to 41.5% in the least economically free countries. You don't have to be some sort of like Scrooge McDuck loving money to like economic freedom. You can be the person who goes, I want to help the poor. You should like economic freedom too. Because it's the engine behind releasing, if you will, pent up capital, human talent, and unleashing it so that we can all be better off. 